I am joined by uh, Attorney General Gordon McDonald and Manchester Police Chief Carlo Capano to talk about this important topic. Uh, first of all, gentlemen, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Is it often that an officer will respond to a scene or an incident where they find that drugs or mental health are an issue here, or maybe a combination of the two? Yeah, it's really, it's a combination of three, believe it or not, and it's unfortunate, but it is. It's uh, mental health, it's the uh, drug epidemic, and it's homelessness. And it's, uh, it's just becoming a perfect storm and becoming um, um, a difficult situation to continue handling. And, and Attorney General McDonald, are you finding the same theme at the state level as well? Yeah, uh, there is absolutely no question that the issue of undiagnosed and untreated mental health is, is a profound problem facing our state. And of all the functions we perform in our office, this issue touches virtually every one of them. This can be stressful and impact mental health of police officers doing this work. Uh, the stress is, uh, sometimes can become overwhelming for officers. Um, and we, we deal with that with peer-to-peer -peer counseling within our officers at the police station. They're trained. Um, we have a team that's trained. It's about 25 officers that deal with those type of situations peer-to-peer -peer internally. We need to be able to extend that to our smaller uh, our smaller police departments and make sure that they have the help they need. Talk a little bit about how do you make sure that someone with a mental health issue doesn't wind up getting treated in jail or wind up in jail as opposed to the proper treatment? Right. What we've created is the mobile crisis response team. So that team is a police officer, a clinician, and a recovery coach. And what they do is they're able to um, go out, they do five hour shifts Monday through Friday and then on Saturday and Sundays they're four hour shifts. That team goes out and they actually listen to the uh, police radio and they're able to respond to some of these calls in real time. Things have changed drastically over the years. Um, when I first came on the job, if you, if you went to a call and somebody was suffering some type of a mental health crisis, uh, quite often you would have to put them in handcuffs, transport them to the police department, and then you would call mental health to come down and evaluate the person. They would make that evaluation, see if they're fit to leave on their own. If not, then they would get shipped to a hospital. And Attorney General McDonald, what do you say when someone asks you, how do we fix this problem? What can be done? Part of it is building up the infrastructure and the workforce that is we need to deal with undiagnosed and untreated mental health. And part of it, frankly, is reducing the stigma. People can go out and get treated and they can live really, really great productive lives. Big picture, this all seems very overwhelming. Is there hope out there? Is this, are these methods working? Are you finding success? From, from our point of view, without a doubt. I mean, we, um, when we're dealing with the public and answering calls, uh, the program that we have in place, they are working. Um, the most important thing is, <clears throat> is to get that message out there that it's okay if you are suffering from a crisis and to reach out and get the help that you do need. And it, most importantly is we're having these conversations here today that are letting the public know that we are aware of it and we are working on it on our end to make sure we can give you the best response that we possibly can. All right, uh, Chief Capano from Manchester Police Department, Attorney General Gordon McDonald, thank you very much. A very important topic.